Dear Esther, my hands tremble as I write. Please forgive me. The day has come at last. How little did I know that we would end up here of all places and getting married of all things. The beautiful calligrapher, the hilarious comedian, the anti-Aristotelian classmate. Then like a bolt of lightning, you were my best friend, my closest companion, the one who knew the most about me. My sweet friend. It is an incomparable privilege to be marrying my best friend in the world. Sometimes I feel like, I still feel like pinching myself because it feels too good and beautiful to be true, as if such a thing could be. It feels so far beyond anything I could have asked for, or hoped for, or, or thought I deserved, that it seems like it must be a dream. But it is not a dream. It is real, and as reality is more beautiful than any dream. As you remember, as I hope and pray and believe you will remember, that the blows which have befallen you, and which, alas, will, I regret to inform you, continue to befall you, come not from blind or meaningless natural necessity, but from the mysterious providence of the hidden God. Right? Yours is more than the consolation of philosophy. It's the consolation of resurrection. What I see here today, what we all have experienced, is something revolutionary, something beautiful, something that is all too rare in the world that we are currently experiencing. This is truly a beautiful mystery upon which you have both entered today. And the importance of that, I cannot impress upon you enough. It would not really be too dramatic to say that my life story the history of my existence is summed up somehow in that one evening. You sang me my song, the song you wrote for me. You showed me beauty and truth and knowing and loving and being known and being loved all in one. And then I had to decide. I had to decide whether to embrace you. And I hesitated only for a single moment and then accepted you. It was easy and difficult, my grace. Kiss your bride. <laughs>